Hello my friends, today begins a new challenge run, but this time it's not a challenge for me. The Awesome Socks Club is a charity run by Hank and John Green. They pay artists to make cool sock designs, people subscribe to get new socks every month, and the profits go towards reducing maternal and child mortality in Sierra Leone. It's a win for everybody, except for me. I wanted to support this cool effort, but the largest available sizes of socks are still too small for me. So instead, I had an idea. During my Saturday and Sunday streams, I opened up Wings of Liberty Protoss Edition and gave it my best shot at speedrunning. I was going in almost blind. I hadn't played the mod in a year and a half, but it was a ton of fun. And now I'm challenging you to beat my time. The full rules are available in the Giant Grand Games Discord, but the gist of it is that the person who submits the run with the best time before the end of Friday, November 18th, gets a year's subscription to the Awesome Socks Club. So show me how much you can improve my run in five days. The time limit here is pretty short, and that's intentional. It means that the pure macro skill from being in like Masters or Grandmasters League won't matter nearly as much as just coming up with good and cool strategies. There's not enough time to fully refine everything, and that makes it a wide open race for a lot more people. So if you're interested, the rest of this video is going to be my first attempt at the run, the second half of it will be posted tomorrow, and after that, I would love to see people jump on in and give things a try. So good luck, have fun, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the VOD. Okay, so we're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Uh, normal start. Oh, I skipped that properly. Uh, we are on fastest speed, that is perfect. It looks like it's always on fastest speed. We don't have the dash ability, nor do we have the shield regeneration ability. Yeah, it's technically going to be a world record. Are you excited for it? A de facto world record, and whoever beats me is going to have a, another de facto world record. So we're going to skip this bonus objective, no reason to do it. Oh. I need to hit the escape once, because in this mod, if you hit it twice, then you pause. But if you hit it once, you skip the cutscene. Easy peasy. Now, what I want to do is keep Artanis in the front, and there's going to be a big warp in over here. And I just want to open up the surface area. Get all of our guys. Then we're going to keep moving, and we're going to start pulling the guys in the next area while we get our reinforcements. Activate the cutscene. We want to take these down, and we're going to run on past. We're going to take a little bit of damage right here, and that is completely and totally fine. And then we're actually going to bypass all of this and target down the facility itself. We're going to peel one zealot off to just distract. And that is mission number one. Let's move on to the next. I am just coming up with stuff on the fly, by the way. I uh, do not have straight setup strategies here. So if you are trying to beat me, feel free to steal what I do and then make it better. Because I definitely could have improved that. I don't think that I needed that warp in necessarily. Okay, now I'm going to run these guys up instantly. Let's cancel this and just get another zealot. We're going to move over here and try to get a couple more zealots. I don't know how many I'm actually going to need. Hopefully not that many. Let's go get the bonus guys. Yep, have them run up. And then we go, we go. We're going to have another zealot warp in in a second. So we go right here. Grab this. Double zealot. And try to win. Let's see. Hellions are coming, yeah. So we want those to attack the things. Oh, Zelda's are taking a bit of heat here, which is not too good. And we don't have our warpins available yet, but we're going to be able to mash on through this. Target down the medics, because they're going to delay the fight. Oh, I'm supply capped. So definitely could have sped that up. Oh my gosh, there's a devil dog. Got devil dogged. The zealots are going to be fine here as long as they can take stuff down. We're going to move over to this side and get. Oh, oh no, they're stuck. You got stuck on the charge. That's bad. Lost a bit of time right there. So, what we want to do now is take down these production facilities, have a couple guys fighting over here, get all the depots burning. 
We're a little bit low on DPS compared to when you do this as Terran because obviously the Marine is way more damage dense than the Zealot. But I think we're going to be fine. And if you do this, did we skip the audio trigger? Yes, we did. If you get the command center and the factory at the same time, you get to skip a dialogue line. Thank you uh, for the subs, guys, by the way. Jack and Gwyn and M1X2C3 for the subs. I appreciate it, guys. All right, we got zero hour, so we're going to chill for a bit. And now we can just ask how everyone's doing, seeing if you're having a good day, living your best life. And we got that Spear of a Dune, and I think the Spear of a Dune is going to facilitate a lot of very interesting things. Uh, Synergy, you didn't add anything on this mission, like if you clear it, you win, right? Because that would be the goaded mechanic. But also, you made this a long time ago. Okay, so we can just, whatever, pylon, pylon. Thank you, uh, Jurogenesis for the sub. Nope, no alternate win conditions. Yeah, so we just have to play through this normally. Completely fine. Not at all a problem. And then... We're gonna clear the map anyway, probably, because why not? <laughs> we'll have the time. There's not that much else to do. Oh no, they're coming. They're gonna eat our base. We must rally our defenses. Thank you, Sunset Gamma, for the sub. So what? This isn't a damage op or a winning optimization, but it is a little bit of combat optimization. If you can get the photon cannons to attack the same targets, then you will not have you'll you'll be able to one volley zerglings. You won't split your DPS. Doesn't really matter that much, but it is something. Oh, they come out of the hole. That's cool. We thank you Where do these guys come out of? Allow us to join do they all like come out of the outhouse or something? I've never, I've never paid attention to how those guys spawn. Does anyone know when they spawn? Do they just? Okay, no one answer this question. I'm gonna find out. I re synergy. If you made these guys come out of the outhouse, you're gonna be the greatest gamer that's ever lived. I'm just, I'm throwing that out there. If you want to edit it to make it do that, then that is fine as well. <laughs> Just imagine a bunch of Zelts and a Stalker come out of the outhouse. That'd be so good. Alright, we're gonna just keep popping up a nice little army. We're gonna get 111 and then we're gonna go crush through these bases. Probably around the, third, uh, the time we get our third reinforcement wave is when we'll do it. Okay, and how many gateways do you think we need? Five? Hierarch, we're tracking multiple flying entities heading for our next... Oh no, air bogeys incoming. What are we going to do? Whoa, Incinerator, thank you for the 20 tier one gift subs, my dude. I really appreciate it. Oh, this, this shield battery is for you. <laughs> my goodness. All right, we're gonna melt these, and then we're going to melt these. Thank you so much. We're gonna get up to 24 out of 24 workers, even though the remaining, or the final eight are not that efficient. They're better than not having them over the span of a 20 minute mission. We're gonna be able to afford, oh yeah. This one guy every once in a while, so good. All right, so a couple missions that I think that people are going to be able to save a lot of time on compared to me is I think the big one's going to be the dig because I'm just going to try to eliminate all the Protoss, but I don't really have a set strategy for it. So if you're just looking to, oh my gosh, thank you guys for the bits now too. It's not updating. Uh, thank you Death for the sub. Thank you Nightlark for the sub. Thank you Regeki for the bits. Aid Xenostar for the sub. I appreciate it guys. I think I said Sunset Gamma before, but thank you. Everyone being incredibly generous. My goodness, Yoshi of the Wire, and for the sub as well, uh, I'm going to build a cyber core, because I just realized I don't have one. And <laughs> Hero Light, thank you for the sub. This is the only time I've ever enjoyed Zero Hour. <laughs> oh no, I didn't look! Oh. Okay, someone's going to have to tell me if they come out of the outhouse. 
I really hope they do. They come out of the houses, not the outhouse? What a lame video game. Well, there's always time to fix it, you know? StarCraft is a living, breathing game that is supported by its community at this point. We can fix Blizzard's flaws. Also, I need pylons. I just want to make some stalkers, man. We get that last group of guys, and then we'll be ready to rock. So I just need the shield upgrade. So where? what is up here? Where do these guys come out of? Is it another house? I like the cave. The cave is cool. Though they probably should have stayed in the cave. It would have been nicer. Instead of being sent to their death, like they're going to be soon. Oh, these guys come out of a cave, too. Is this guy going to live? <laughs> no way! He got out of there! You know what? I think that I'm ready to bust through one of their bases as soon as we get hit with another attack, defend it, and then we can counter-strike. No, we can counter-strike go. Yeah. Because that's the cool version. We don't want to, like, counter-strike 1.6 these nerds. Then we just look like boomers. Alrighty. Well, uh, basic pattern assumption. It's not pattern recognition. I'm just uh, assuming that it works this way means that they're going to attack from this side next. So if I attack from that side, we'll intercept their attack wave at the same time that we clear the enemy out. And then we will be good to go. Caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's hive cluster. It will be I'm gonna try targeting it. down the spine and the spine. Keep the zealots flowing. And we did breach. Once again, take the spines down. They're the big damage dealers. And then we want to take down the hatcheries after that. And that definitely was an attack wave that was built up here. So we dealt with both of those at the same time. And that means we're going to be able to take this base out. No! How dare you! My infrastructure! I waited so long for infrastructure week, you're not gonna ruin it. Cool. This base is down. And you know what? We're gonna take it. Because <laughs> we're chads. And there's nothing else to do on this mission because there's no skips. The second power cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. What? Spear of a dune online in 10 minutes. Oh. Okay, that has nothing to do with me clearing the base. It is just uh, <laughs> that we hit the 10 minute remaining mark. <laughs> I thought that I did something. Okay. I, I tricked myself. Oh, we are crushing through. This is so easy. I like the fact on this mission that there's a bunch of random nidus worms that are like already unloaded. It makes it, it's just a little aesthetic thing that makes it feel like th this is how the Zerg got there, you know? It's a little bit of visual storytelling for the game. They wouldn't have to put it there. It wouldn't be missed if it wasn't there, and yet they decided to do it anyway. And I think that is the hallmark of good games. Let's go see if we can find our, find our friend. Hey, buddy. Da, 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 da. Oh no, they figured out how to get <laughs> two circlings and two hydras over because everything else is dead. I still can't take the space. Take caution, Hierarch. Uh, presence is overwhelming. I uh yeah, I think I said thank you to Hero Lid. Herolid? Did I say thank you to Herolid for the subs? I'm gonna say it again. Thank you, Herolid, for the subs and Zayat SC. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted. Because, you know, there's just so much, uh... There's so much action on Zero Hour. Incinerator, thank you! 20 more gift subs. Why? It's, you people are so... It's too generous. You're too good. All I'm doing is giving out socks. <laughs> oh... 
and uh, borrowed an IV for 10 tier 1 gift subs as well. My goodness. This is insane. I'm going to take another base. I'm going to take all these bases for you guys. We're going to macro up. How many subs do you have to donate to get a sock? I mean, that's not really how it goes. You donate. It's not, first of all, it's not a donation if you're actually asking for something. That's just a very circumvented purchase. You got to speed run, bro. You got to give it your best shot. I don't let people buy me off. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna fully saturate these bases, and then we're gonna load the entire map with photon cannons. There's no way they can kill all of our bases. That's the new strat on Zero Hour. <laughs> Alrighty. 70, 80, 90, 400. And then this guy will try to build a base. You require my skill. And you're so used to Grant's videos that you tried to rewind the stream. Ah, don't lie to me. You tried to fast forward. You want to skip it. That's what I would do. Only one cell remains. You can be honest. I won't take offense. Let's pull back over here. Split some over here because I don't want to lose my economic infrastructure. I guess we'll chrono that. Could get these workers out. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the people watching the YouTube bar are just like, yeah, I did fast forward through this. But they can't hear me right now because they fast forwarded through it. It's a smart, smart strat. All right, cannon time. I don't know when the Nidus will start popping out. I assume it's pretty soon. I also don't know where they start popping out, so we'll have to figure that. I'm pretty sure that some come, like, over here. So we're going to go two pylons, one cannon. And start infrastructuring here as well. Perfect. <laughs> Cause inflation with all that macro. <laughs> No, it's a supply and demand curve. You can't cause inflation as long as you spend your minerals as soon as you get them, because that means that supply and demand are equal. But you can't queue up stuff. You can't queue because that means it'll mess up the curve as well. This is basic economics. This is how Serral's macro is so good. He makes sure that there's no inflation in the Zerg economy, and he manages it better than everyone else. Oh my goodness, to Gravy Train, thank you for the 10 tier 1 gift subs. And Miko No Pants, thank you for the sub. Oh, we need so many workers. Is this the biggest economic mission in StarCraft? No, wait, where is it? Hey, that's a good position. Okay, man. And drop these. Toast94, thank you for the five tier one gift subs. Where's the Nidus? Where's the Nidus? I can't find it. It must have died somewhere. I bet the... No! Oh, how did they do that? In the perfect location. Build the cannons. We have a minute 35 until we get to move on. So over here, you know what? More probes are not going to pay for themselves at this point. I got to get it together. Oh, another one. Yeah, we gotta wait for those cannons to finish. If we build a cannon cube, it will be the ultimate in defense. Oh, there's the Mutus coming from off the map. They're cheating. <laughs> this is working phenomenally well. <laughs> they just keep spawning in the same place. <laughs> I didn't know that's how this worked. The gravy train, thank you for 10 tier one more. This is, this is too, ah. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that was a lot. Oh, there's so many of them. We're safe though. <laughs> We're the worm murderers. Well, that worked well. All right, the evacuation is next.
So the evacuation, there is a little bit of speed running trickery that we can do here, but not a whole lot. Just some ways to increase the speed. Storms aren't, it is four transports, right? All right, we want the Rowan Zealot, Dragoon, blah, 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 doesn't matter, go. Oh, Brutal is faster. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? The loss of the color was because it's not that much faster, which means that the loading time in terms of real time is actually going to be problematic. So yeah, you are completely right that you want to do this in on Brutal because the transports come more quickly. Yeah, 45 seconds, so it's far too late at this point. Thank goodness you're here. I'll give you control of the main building so you can But it's four transports, right? Not five? I just want to make sure I have those numbers right. Uh, let's go grab this money. And then... Our spirit is indomitable. We're going... You know what? We're just going to Archon Morph this, and we're going to kill... Is it... These buildings? Yeah. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cause the colonists to only spawn out of these two. Oh, he's too fat. And that's going to mean that they get to the transport more quickly. And... Oh, killing the buildings doesn't make it faster? Well, you know, it gave us something to do. And that's always nice, isn't it? Oh, I queued up because I want to chrono out some workers, but I can't chrono out the workers yet because I need to... Get a couple more mineral pickups. The Dominion military abandoned them when the Zerg attacked. They didn't give a damn about the colony. Uh, minerals, thank you for the unpowered photon cannon. That's not quite a bunker that I can salvage, unfortunately. And we'll head up over here. Let's roll. You know what, let's just chrono this out. Doesn't really matter that much. I appreciate this energy, or did he add a second gas geyser here? I think he did. I think that there's normally one. And because he made the High Templar the unit you unlock here, it's nice to have. Yeah, the Dominion left photon cannons on the road to help out, guys. <laughs> They're really... They've been experimenting with some wild technology. So, what we do is, for this first one, we're just going to let the colony ship do its own thing. And then for all of the remaining ones, we are actually going to kill the APC. Reason being is, I will show you at the end, it will, it'll make sense when we get over there. Uh, can I power that? I guess I go and power it, why not? We have to build a lot of stuff anyway. Then we head up here. Just make sure nothing bad happens to the APC because we... I mean, if we lose it, it doesn't really matter. I picked the spin lot because the spin lot actually has the highest DPS of all the zealots. So I think that it is going to be the de facto zealot for this run whenever we need them. Which is fun. I like it. Usually it's such a bad unit. So what happens to these marines does not matter. It's just the APC that matters. I'm going to swing back at the other bonuses, which give units, but not much else of value. And as you can see, it individually unloads the guys one by one. So what we're going to do in all of the remaining ones is we're going to kill the APC. And that is going to mean that they all go in one blob onto the transport and it's much more quick. However, we can only lose four units before it takes a whole extra, a whole extra trip, which means that one of the APCs has to survive. And then if we lose a single colonist uh, despite, or rather in any other way, we're really far behind. And it's horrible, but this is speedrunning, and you have to take risks. If you want to go fast. Unfortunately, this is a very slow mission. And we're not going to destroy the APC until the end. I think. No, wait, do we destroy it at the beginning or the end? Do the colonists walk faster than the APC? I remember testing it, but I don't remember the results of our test. APCs are faster, okay. Yeah, the APC has a speed of one, the colonists have a speed of one. 
They're the same speed. It is not a problem. <laughs> Set that up. And just keep building these guys. The most important things are just to make sure that the there's no impediments for the APC or anything. Because that is really the big way that things can slow down. For example, get to the starport, move it. I think that morphing banelings, it'll get stuck on those, for example. There's not a whole lot of other things. For the most part, it's fine. Yeah, let's just get some upgrades. I love fast upgrades. Yeah, and you are correct that the colonists do get blown up by a single baneling, which is one of the reasons that you keep the APCs till the end, because it can get really bad really quickly on accident. Archons are insane on this mission, by the way. The enemy Zerg is not super high tech, and the Archon is. Got it. Just make sure this area is clear, and then we're probably going to start clearing out the bases after this. Just to make sure that nothing bad happens. Yeah, I like that idea. Because if there's less units attacking, there's less chance that we catastrophically die. It's all good. Doesn't matter. Also, uh, no Spear of a Dune top bar on things that take time to cast. Because that takes real time, even though it doesn't take in-game time. So stuff like uh, Temporal Field and Solar Lance are not going to be used if it ever possible. Simply because of the casting time. I think I need more gateways. Oh, gosh! And then we get over here. Destroy it. And then they all just go in there. Uh, I messed that up a little bit. I got distracted by going and killing the base. Not the end of the world. I lost probably about a second and a half. I would advise caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's hive cluster. It will be I don't know how many... Oh, there's some bands. Gotta be careful. They're building a lot. But if we can spin lot these banes to... Oh, no, they hatched! <laughs> Pain. We're going to blast these eggs. Oh, the eggs hatching on the spin lots was not a good outcome of that. Finish off the hives. As long as the hives die, we're fine. We don't need to take down the random peripheral buildings. Thank you, Dad Pounder420, for the subs. Right, that one and that one. Oh gosh, there's even more. I keep those in the safe spot just so that I can't actually mess up. Ugh. Oh, so there is an enforced play order on this, by the way, guys. I do not get to pick the mission order that I go to. That's just how this mod works. So we can't skip any missions either, which is why it's all missions as a run. Which just means that you get more time to save versus my bad play when you do it for yourself to win those socks. All right, let's get our bonus objective while we're over here. Perfect. Got Jonathan the Templar. And we're good to go. I don't think I need to do anything at this point. We've, uh, we've won the mission. But I'm going to keep going. Like, I'm going to try to clear the other base just in hopes that it's good. I wonder if it's actually faster to lose these three guys, because they don't count in terms of being colonists. But maybe they take some time to get onto the... onto the Hercules before it launches. Yeah, that makes sense. It definitely... It definitely doesn't lose time to kill them. So it might gain time to... Yeah, <laughs> it's a good strat. A couple guys up here. 
They're going to be the execution squad from now on. You guys get out of the road. Now let's try taking down the other base. Okay, execution squad, do your thing. You're killing more of my people, you monster! Good to go. You're pretty sure they don't slow down. I'm pretty sure that you are correct that they don't slow down, but they definitely... Ha there's no... There's no way at all that they speed it up in any way. So it's a better... Even the 1% chance that it does, why not just take it? We don't need them. This base is much easier to finish off. Kind of a big fan of this blend the eggs strategy. I've never seen this on any of the cooking shows that I watch, so it's probably not good food preparatory habits, but it works in StarCraft. Storm. We have another convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. <laughs> not sure why I decided. <laughs> the one storm, I'm just like, hey guys, do you know Storm? That's what I'm doing. Good commentary. We're gonna send the zealots to clear out this final area while we use the archons to defend. <laughs> Ninja Mega Man 7, thank you for the sub. I wish we could chrono boost the APC. Just make it go faster. It'd be cool. There's that one passive upgrade that makes it so that you uh you move faster when you're in pylon power. It'd be really cool if you could do this mission after you had that one, and you could just make a highway network of electrified roads for the APC to go 30% quicker. That would be... That would be the strat, wouldn't it? I have to admit that Zero Hour Evacuation, not a great mission for speedrunning. That is completely fine, Synergy, because it does get it out of the way early, and that is... That's ideal. If you're doing 100%, then you might as well get the painful stuff out of the way. Because this is how it works in the normal thing, too. If you're doing all missions, it's just like you gotta do the evacuation sometime. I love my cotton balls of doom. I think I'm just going to leave the Zealots, and the Archons are going to be the defense force that moves. Because they just, they blow people up. They blend. We, we stand. What guide us? And I don't want too much to, like, accidentally block. Alright. And we blow that to smithereens, and they'll be able to get into the thing finish off this. So what mission are we heading to next? Uh, Devil's Playground. Got it. Wow, we do smash and grab very late. That's interesting. So yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it, where they all just get onto the ship as one giant pile. And this puts us at 39. The way that it works is there's going to be... 12 in this final one. Oh, are these going to block? We need to just make sure this doesn't slow down the pathing of the guys at all. I may have made a mistake there. Probably not. It probably doesn't change a darn thing, but once again, we've already won the mission, so we just want to... If we can save a quarter of a second, we're going to save a quarter of a second. Civilian pathing doesn't matter. Is that because the... The APC idles around for a bit anyway for a set amount of time. Got it. That makes sense. We're almost done, Commander. Another convoy will be starting out soon. And I know that if you kill the APC before it's filled with guys, then they send another APC, and that takes forever, so you don't want to do that. Twenty-five Archons on mission four. Excuse me, sir. It's only eleven Archons. I only have two gas geysers. Actually, I can't afford the minerals for Archons. They're too expensive. I'm going to test something real quick. Okay, it does pause the game. 
I just wanted to make sure that in this mod it did pause things when you activated the Spear of a Dune, because if it didn't, for whatever reason, then I think that in, like, Pro Z D No, who is it? The guy that made, uh, Lord DZ? Lord... The guy who's not the voice actor on YouTube. Um, the guy who made the three-player versions, I think that his Spear of a Dune doesn't pause. Lord DZ, yeah. Thank you. His version does not have a top bar freeze, so technically it would be faster to use it in a lot of situations, but for this one, it is slower. And this is the final escort, and then we'll be done. I genuinely think this spin would be pretty good if it actually did damage to buildings. Do they... I have no idea what they even send when they don't have a base. Nothing? Sick Nidus Worm. Incredible. Are you the only one that knows all the details of this mission? Because Storms Aren't, we spent a lot of time together figuring this one out. And it was helpful. It was really helpful for that uh, speedrun. You saved me so many seconds. And that's speedrunning in a nutshell, right? You spend like 15 hours figuring something out in order to save three seconds. There they go. And this should add up exactly to 50. Oh, this guy's pathing is so bad. <laughs> oh, he could have gone over here and been so much faster. We've lost the colony. Perfect. Let's head to the Devil's Playground. So the Devil's Playground is where we get instigators, right? Instigators are those stalkers with tons of blink charges, and we're going to be able to do some insane stuff with them. This should be a fast one. We go normal, whatever, 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 go. Bring these over. So we cannot build instigators, unfortunately. We're just going to pump out some probes for mining. Maybe some guys worth killing over here. Oh, gosh. Do we not win this fight? Shadow charge. I have to go up here. So this should bring, yep, instigators into the fight, and I only care about the instigators, so we don't care about the zealots anymore. And we're done producing. So instigators. Run over here. So we didn't have the DPS that we normally do in order to kill the early guys, so we're a little bit behind, but we should be able to make a real good catch up of speed in a sec. Land. These guys here, and let's get going. Go down to the bonus objective. You guys will make sure that we don't die. Money up there. I love the instigator. Oh, it's so fast. There's no point in killing the bonus, but there is a point in grabbing the money near it. And the instigators have the ability to see up the high ground, which means that we can come up here. Purifier forces, head out and support our higher arch warriors. And just keep blinking. I wish the instigator was in multiplayer. I'd finally be a good player. Oh no, it's taking my screen. Ooh. All right, Tosh. I have less minerals than I thought I would at this point. Because the harvesting is going kind of slow, we can send these guys over here to grab all that, and then we can come over this way. Where's more money? 
in the final base, I guess. Oh, killing the Brutalist gives money. That is an optimization that other people will be able to make. That's a really cool one. I like that addition. But it's too late now. Oh well. Uh, I'm still pretty happy with that time for a very first attempt. So, yeah, should have gone and killed the Brutalisk. I would change my routing and probably go over to that bottom right base and then swing down so I'd have enough instigators to kill the Bruta to finish things off. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, this might be a tough one. Uh, da -da. No, we want the Adept. Adept, Centurion, boom, doom, boom, boom, start. So this one's going to be way slower than normal because we don't have repairs. Uh, we also don't have our guys available early on, so we're going to have to start making some adepts. How do I want to approach this one? There's nothing here. Well, let's try it. I mean, oh gosh, yeah, okay, no. Oh gosh, I forgot that Synergy has the stupid version of the scout that does infinity damage versus light. Oh crap. Why? Why? Oh, this isn't how the campaign scout works. This one does 32 versus light. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, No, it's too long to go through those menus, isn't it? Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, I should have picked the Dragoon because the Adept is going to get killed in two hits. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta reload. This is dead. Um, but, uh, As I said, this is my first time going through all of this. 32 damage per shot is insane. I think it normally does 8 damage per shot to ground or something like that. So it's like a four-fold increase. <laughs> oh, welcome to the jungle. Hey, I had my mouse in the right spot. Stalker's better than Dragoons? That's a great point. Yeah, Stalker's are going to be way better. More than a full four-fold increase because of armor. You are absolutely correct on that, too. It's more <laughs> close to a five-fold increase. Normal, Chrono Surge, Temporal Field, Stalker, Whirlwind, High Templar, go. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to get two Stalkers out as fast as we can. Get a couple more workers. I wonder how much I can get done with two Stalkers. We're going to have the sentries. We have the money for it. Okay, we're going to go. One, two, three. Four. No. Bring the stalkers. You shall not defile the breath of creation. And we'll I see if this still works. Execute all those who desecrate our altars. I am detecting a Taldarim force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, Why are we getting shredded still? Behind. Let me activate them. This isn't good. What is happening? Uh. Well. It worked. Hmm. Bring the sentries. Are they gonna attack again? We need a couple of these. Undo these. We got the canisters. Let's go up this way. We're probably gonna need to use the top bar, unfortunately, in order to survive for the rest of this. But what you're gonna do? You gotta work with the cards that you are dealt. You're doing great. Keep it up. Yeah, our attack speed. This is very interesting. One of the things that 
Wings of Liberty is basically built on is the idea that you do insanity levels of damage with your Marines. And because we don't have that, we have to work from a very awkward position. State thy bidding. So we'll use the top bar here. Oh gosh, you guys aren't mining. Oh no. You require my skills. And the attack is going to come from up here. Probably. We go shields up. And then we have to use this. So the goal is just use it as fast as possible. And then we want to take down the voids. Take down this one. Retreat, retreat. Those are going home. Oh, there's no bonus here. We've got to make sure that guy doesn't go through this base, because that's where he normally likes to go. And that should be all of them. Not too bad. I definitely could have done it better, but I'm not unhappy with the way that it worked. If only I could lift off my Nexus and bring it somewhere. <laughs> Because usually you bring the command center over here to decrease the amount of time that it takes. Well, yeah, Stalker is definitely way better than Dragoon 2. I'm glad that I swapped to that. And infinitely better than the Adept. Okay, Smash and Grab is next, and we're going to be super aggressive here. I don't know what unit we get. Do we get the Immortal here? That might be it. Uh, temporal field, normal, adapt, uh, stalker, high templar, energizer, I see. Swing forward this way, and get micro in. Oh, okay, we do get immortals. I was right. So I think I want to get some energizers. Try to use the immortals for firepower. Oh gosh. That's a lot. Got something new for you, cowboy. Immortals. Oh yeah. Thanks, Swan. Uh, gotta build the, the cyber core. I still think the immortals are worth it. We just have to get that cyber core going, which is pretty slow. We usually have a uh, barracks to start with, and tech lab is a lot easier to get for the medics that you normally grab. But we should be able to poke through these pretty quick and be good. And I don't know how many immortals it takes to kill the final guys, and I'm pretty sure that's a very low number. Let's see, start blasting through these. That should get us another immortal, so it was definitely worth it. Now we come this way, hit that, pull them out, take them down. Uh, we're going to lose the zealot, and I always knew that was going to happen. What? Oh, I thought he lived. Now I have to be careful to not lose these. Got that barrier ability, but it has a cooldown. Oh my gosh, there's more cannons than normal. That's good to know. Ooh. All right, we're going to go this way. Yeah, there's changes from the base game, and sometimes they're very surprising. Just need to make sure this is cleared, and then we can take the, can or the pylon down. Unpower those. 
make sure that we can actually get our forces in and we are ready for the final fight. Shore up our defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our nexus point. Four fifteen. Not bad. Yeah, it turns out that Immortals, they do a lot of damage. <laughs> they're, they're quite the units. <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan. Outbreak is next. So against Outbreak, we need the Adept. The Adept, uh, Adept Energizer is going to be the way to go. Normal, uh, boom, boom, boom. Adept. Energizer, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, start. What I want to do is we want to move up and we want to start clearing with these and then we're going to get an auto gas real quick, get a cyber core real quick. And then we got to mow through everything. I believe we got some Colossus on this mission. We're going to get that attack upgrade. The Zerg are moving to attack our nexus point. And we should be able to just kill a whole bunch of stuff during this first day, because we have a pretty good army with a lot of damage that melts through broodlings, which is why we have the spin lots this time. On, I think sometimes the stun guys are going to be the correct zealots to go for, the reincarnation almost never are going to be the answer. But, I got this going, uh, don't need those need these. Lots of Energizers. Energizer damage actually isn't that bad either. So wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Synergy, why? <laughs> Who hits for 7.5 damage? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love it. Oh, the infested buildings are armored. Well, that is, uh... I should have gone for Stalkers, then. The Adept is not going to be as good. However, the Adept is still insane, so it's fine. And they're fast. The Immortal is too slow. Back over here. We gotta make sure that none of the Infested get onto our guys. Maybe I just go for Archon. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Synergy. Are the buildings biological? Because maybe Zealot Archon is better if that's the case. They should be biological. And we're going to be using warp in reinforcements to get us free value worth of stuff for uh, not using top bar cooldown time. It's free real estate. We are going to have to split up our guys to defend a little bit, but the spin lot's actually insanity here in the best way possible. So if you've never seen this mission speed run before, because basically nobody does it, the normal any percent run doesn't do this mission. You go uh, Reapers for the most part, though uh, Vultures are also insane on this mission. You usually just don't have them unlocked, but they're actually better because they're so cheap and they don't cost gas. All right, at some point we're gonna grab our friend, the other guy, the Colossus, and things will be easy. I just don't wanna lose any units, I'm afraid of that. There we go. Some Colossi to join your forces. Use them well, Artanis. We can ah, use the Adept, Energizer, and Colossus to keep our pylons alive. Besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. I don't remember. Does where does Phoenix say that? Does he? I don't remember him saying that on the mission that you unlock Colossus and Legacy of the Void. Is that a cut voice line, or am I dumb? And it's just always existed. Maybe he says it. Maybe I just don't pay attention to what he says anymore. 
It's always existed? Okay. I just don't listen to our boy then. I guess I knew what the Colossus did when Legacy of the Void came out. So unfortunately you can't clear during the night because if you attack one of the buildings it spawns 750 billion units in order to murder you. The only way you can do it is with a ghost. Or I guess Dark Templar would be really good but we don't have Dark Templar. Okay, it's over dramatic a little bit here. It's not that bad, my dude. These are human Zerg. They're garbage. Alright, go, go, go. We're gonna push from two sides, and we're gonna try to win. And, uh, Mama Hansen giving us our cure for you, as always, because she's a buzzkill. Okay, we're clearing over here. We're doing pretty good on this side. There's no reason to actually get the bonuses, but if we can, we should try. Because they will give us a little bit better clearing speed. This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. This oh, those guys were not moving. They're only not moving for a couple seconds, but that's not optimal. Then there's a group of structures down here that need to be cleared out, so this is going to be my third group. There we go. That should warp in another Colossus for us. This is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the got this area done. Here. And then well done, we will take down these, the and then these guys come over slain. there. This hive cluster has swung downwards. Continue on, brothers. This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. Hey, uh, Artanis, how's the hive cluster doing, bud? Oh, he's quiet now? Alright. Open some guys over there to clear stuff up. This hive cluster has and then... Continue on, brothers. There we go. That should give us now another I Colossus that we don't want to lose to a missile turret. Scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual. These come over system. to attack are this side. Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Send some results to that side. Just make sure that we are evenly clearing everything out. Continue on, brothers. Good amount of pressure coming on that side, so we can pull one of the Colossus over here to hit some of these buildings. Down on this side. This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. It shall be done. Three, two, one, and done. That was good. Where does it take us next? Safe Haven. I always love that you can see random arcade stuff when you're on these loading screens. <laughs> I'm learning about games that I'll never play. Yeah, theoretically we should not be able to go to Haven here because the enforced mission order wouldn't let us do this. But Synergy doesn't care. Uh, we want the Adept, we want... So whatever, I didn't mean to select Centurion, but it's not a problem. Vanguard, Colossus, start. Oh gosh, Void Race, okay. Void Rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal I thought it was going to be the Phoenix. This, uh, this changes things a lot. Well done, Facesmith. We will make good use of them. So I wonder how much we can clear with three Void Rays. All of it? I mean, they are Void Rays, right? The greatest unit ever invented. The fact that the human brain was able to conceptualize the Void Ray as a unit and put it into an RTS is probably our greatest triumph as a species. Yeah, that unit. We're good. Oh, your Guardian Shield's actually being a bit of a pain. Uh, I do not have a cyber core, so I'm going to have to grab one of those for plus one attack. Go. Cool. I think this area is going to be pretty easy to harass. 
Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned about taking down the final objective. I think the mothership is not going to be the easiest thing to kill because we don't have the range that we normally would have. The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Hmm. I don't want to use my top bar here, but I might have to. Can we just hit this from here? Oh, it does pull a bunch of guys. Yeah, we're just going to blast with the top bar. One, two, three. Stun the high ground vision. Take those down. And then we're good. You always be, got to be careful about using those. Now I don't have a warp in reinforcements, unfortunately, which would have been nice to have. Uh, how do they see me? That's not good. I thought that they wouldn't have vision there. Pull the void rays over. Two guys on gas? Oh, we have an auto gas. Never mind. What am I doing? I'm hoping that four is enough to deal with the final area, but I'm not sure that it is because there is a high Templar over there. We might have to use Temporal Field to kill the Templar, which is pretty reasonable. Oh, there's a carrier too. Yeah, there's... This one's pretty darn well defended. We'll see. We don't have plus one attack either. Maybe if we hit from this side, we can avoid the Templar? Nope. We might be able to avoid the Templar, but I'm too full of fear of that carrier. There we go. Try to take this down before the thing wears off so we don't have to engage that Void Ray, and then we can move on to the final guy. Oh no! He's a chasing, and we want to avoid the death fleet because it does not matter. Instead, we want to get a couple adepts, I guess. Is he still following? He's not. Okay, none of that matters. Let's head down to the last objective. Oh, 75 for warping reinforcements is such a scam. They're gonna destroy our ship. We're all going to die. Try to afford what we can. Purifier is 6,000 HP. Yeah, I think we're going to have to temporal field it once again. This is kind of a... A blind attempt. A blind hope that this just works. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to go in there. And then hopefully these warp it... Oh, this is not looking good. Just random guy from behind. The stun was amazing. Okay. Fun day, stun day. Uh, fun fact, the Purifier of the Mothership is still garbage. <laughs> I, w I was afraid for nothing. Okay. Yeah, the Havoc is better for sure. Havoc would have made that much easier. I'll be honest, I, uh, for some reason, I thought I was going to Haven's Fall, not Safe Haven, when I picked all my units. <laughs> so I thought that I was going to be fighting Zerg in a long slog when I picked everything. Uh, buh -buh. And as a result, I was dumb. What have I not picked? Temporal field, go. So, first of all, I want to take these, go up there. Let's make one Vanguard, because they're pretty good. And then we're going to go for mostly adept focus play. Kill these broods. Then we're gonna move on to the bases. Oh, we're supply blocked already. Thank you, game. Uh, I 
I'm gonna need some gateways, but I can't really afford them at this point, so... I don't really have a solution to that. Right on the spore, zealots are gonna do standoff. They're probably gonna get killed pretty quick, and there's not much I can do about that. Because they're bad. We just want the void rays to do their thing for now. Pull the ground units back as I continue to build up, and let's take out the production facilities. The probably four gates on this mission. I first. And we'll have warp and reinforcements soon, which is going to give us a pretty good addition to our army. I probably can't afford any more vanguards, unfortunately. Oh, I need a cyber core too. There's so many minerals that we have to spend at the beginning on these missions. And because we don't have things like mules, it's a lot slower. Now we're going to kill the things that spawn the infested, so we can just mop everything up in a bit. I probably should have kept those alive, now that I look at it. Those zealots. They would have been good to have. We're gonna charge up here, and then we can hopefully take down the spore very quickly. And we'll warp in reinforcements at home, just to have more troops. Alright. Come on, Cybercore. You gotta finish for me, bud. I guess we're going more Energizers. And now that we have a full army, we can go and start knocking this down. Thirty, forty, fifty. It's going to be the last one of those. Chrono Boost, and we'll use the Energizer Deploy in order to make units. Oh, hello, Ultralisk. Fancy seeing you there. Well, seeing... I don't know, you died faster than the speed of light, actually. No, stop building workers, Grant. I know you're addicted to macro. Well, we'll one more to have even supply. And we swing down here. Make sure we're constantly energizing to move faster. And we'll take down the second base. What did I not kill over here? Uh oh. Um, we're gonna have to send a guy to investigate at some point. Let's just send a probe to attack everything over there and see why that's not being crossed off. Because that's a bit concerning. Glory to the so many energizers. I should actually look at a better gas dump. Like, energizers are good to a certain point, but I should probably just grab... Archons or something in the future. I'm not seeing anything here. Lots of adepts. No time for plus one. Cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. Glory to the day. That cluster down. We can warp in reinforcements. Oh, I don't know what happened, but it's it worked. Go, go, go. Uh, this base is actually not dying as fast as I would like, but it's okay. It's just allowing me to get more forces and mute us. Oh gosh, I'm supply blocked. Uh, come shut, please. Can you tell me this hive cluster has fallen yet? No, because there's some buildings up there. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, game. Blizzard camera movement special. Only on HBO. This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing this way. We have to grab a couple guys to clean the rest of this up. We send most of our stuff. Oh, that's actually a lot of mutas. We're gonna have to do that with the full force. Otherwise, we're just gonna get killed. And hopefully these guys will have enough enough area damage to deal with those broodlings without getting killed. Use the Adept Shade, just weaken everybody as we go. 
Remember, the Adept Shade in the campaign gives minus five armor to people that it targets, and it's absurdly powerful. We're going to try to take these two bases down at the same time. Go, go. 65 kill Vanguard. This is why we build one. <laughs> I, uh, probably two would have been nice. You don't want too many, but the first couple are amazing. Oh, those Banes are being a pain. Oh, no! I messed up. Some you guys over there. Yeah, a couple of those going that way is fine as well. And we'll take this down. Uh oh. That might take longer than I want it to. Fortunately, this base does have a lot of durability that needs attacking through. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry your pretty little heart. I'm gonna target down the spawning structures. And the timing worked out perfectly. Perfectly. Mid block. No, Artanis, I don't care. <laughs> hey, buddy. No, this is fine. We're speed running Artanis. There we go. Okay, now we're doing breakout. I think Breakout's going to be a good one. I believe we get Zeratul on this mission, who is, uh... He's kind of like Tosh, but infinitely better in every single way. Uh, we want that, 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 and we want that. Start. I, I don't care, Zeratul. Do, 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 do. Find a way. My oh, we can put our shields up. Cool. I don't know why I attack that. To the day Honor let's, uh, let's go. Are in We're going faster than the speed of light. We must shields up. Uh, actually, we should probably take down those three tanks. I because those will hold off Jim's forces forever, and having Jim helping us fight is definitely going to be part of it. Now we move to the end. Game. Uh, okay. Where's my... Uh, maybe we have to clear these bases. Well, I'm going to clear this first. I'm just going to wait for the shield, and we're just going to get these AI-assisted things. I was trying to trigger the thing that gives you the ultimate top bar. Solemn Bombardment is massively buffed, so it's always a good pick. Yeah. Uh, I thought that if I got over there, it would give me access to Solar Bombardment early. However, it looks like I'm wrong. So we have to take the expansions. Hopefully this will slow down the enemy. It's almost easy. It's almost always easier to approach this stuff from reverse anyway. So I'm not unhappy about this. Because the defenses are almost always worse from behind. We just need to wait to have our cooldowns ready a lot of the time. There's a couple more detectors over there. I do like how fast and mobile Zeratul is. He feels way better than Tosh to use in this run. And we'll finish this off. I wonder what happens if we get this one first. I've never done this, but it would be it'd be cool if Jim was just real swell about it, you know? And he just took this base with floating down stuff. Because he usually uses like orbital drop pods, right? This is the last guy. Well, that's a shame. Okay, he's fine. He's actually just going to take that base, and then he's going to take the other one. He's actually winning on his own. James Raynor, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, gosh. 
If we use void armor, we can go in and get it. This is why we pick the vanguard for him. To the I bring wisdom in times of chaos. We must Well, that was spooky. Uh, we're still making progress. And we can make sure that nobody actually attacks Jim as he is basically done clearing that up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. What? How could I not attack that? Well, we have rewind. Uh, thank goodness. I can't believe that I couldn't hit that. I got bamboozled. Yeah, the Hellbat. <laughs> it's got a big, it's got a big hell body. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, that sucks. I'm still pretty sure that this is like the way to do it. It's a good strat. It's just, um, we're learning about hitboxes. In today's episode of StarCraft. Oh, we gotta go help Jim. Are you done? No, you got the base. We Jim Tannis. Oh, do I have to be over there for the trigger? The oh, no, okay, he's taking two bases at once. Good. And now we're gonna have his firepower everywhere. So, to put this in perspective, the uh, time that it takes to win this mission, Tosh, when I speedrun it, is about 12 minutes. And I think that it's going to be way faster than that. I'm going to get these because I'm a little bit weirded out by the lack of any voice lines going off, and I'm afraid that I may have broken something, and I'm not going to get the trigger for the top bar because I was trying to be speed. Do we have vision up here? Oh. What? Okay. I don't know. I don't know why this is. So I should have just gone up there first. Now that I, now that I'm learning how the game works, I don't know why we have vision here. Yep. Congratulations, whoever comes next. You're gonna have an amazing little time save. Uh, I can't tell what's going on with detection over there. I think right there is safe. To slip through. Oh yeah, if, uh, if Vanguard comes, then everything is safe. There we go. Zeratul slips through. And let's take down the detection on the other side. Take down the manufacturing capability. And we will be done. 17 seconds until we have another solar bombardment. But I don't even think we're going to have to hit their production structures with it. We're going to be able to hit their front defense, and that should make the final clear real easy. This is the back defense I opted to go for. Because the front one's easier to kill, simply because there's no high ground. Oh, we dealt with both. My goodness, Solar Bombardment, you were truly a bro today. You did everything. Oh, Zeratul could not attack air, huh? It's always a different Zeratul. You never know what you're going to get with this guy. Um, so do I have to wait for Artanis to figure out how to attack those Banshees? Yeah? Okay. No. No, okay. Nice. I'm glad that that wasn't the case. And then we actually have to go to the loading screen now because I had to use resume from replay and that broke breaks things. Let's do this. Look at that, five stars, the greatest custom campaign ever made. Legacy of the Void Terran Edition, or er, Legacy of the Terran Void Edition. Whatever this is called, it's great, it's fantastic. We're making good progress. Uh, so we're here, actually there's still a lot to go, isn't there?
I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this in the three hour limit. I might have to go a little bit over if I'm close. Thank you guys for the subs, by the way. There's been a bunch more. Ninja Mega Man, uh, Nordicion, Raw Power. Very happy with you all. Solar Bombardment. Uh, Energizer seems good. Centurion seems good on this one because we have to keep our units alive. Well, those guys did not hockey properly. Get him, Karax. Cannon him, Karax. My favorite thing about Karax is how him rushing people is canon. What may I resolve? Progress is It will be united. Purpose guides us. I concur. Oh, yep. So we can take over the tank. We should reclaim more robotic. Definitely gonna reclaim that one because we want to reduce the damage incoming. Drop that. And just move forward. Take these down. And hold off, and now we're going to rush the final objective. Go, go, go. Try to drop a cannon if we can. Absolutely can. Part one done. this guy over here and we're going to use him to take the gate down target the gate control finish all that we don't need him anymore can rush uh are we supposed to get guys over here i think i forgot to go grab them <laughs> let's just pretend that didn't happen No? I don't get friends today? Sure. Why not? I don't need them. I have Karax. Karax makes his own friends. Probably don't want that shooting at me the entire time. I don't know if dropping that is the right... Or unseaging it is the right call, but whatever. Oh yeah, this isn't Nova's mind control. I can have as many people as I want. I forgot about that. That was a bit of a change. And we're going to reclaim that. And we get over here. And we just blow it up. Oh. Skip. There we go. We'll be shot by that tank. It is fine. We're going to try to get up here. There should be a Goliath to steal. A cannon to drop, and then a Karax to live. Okay, this isn't good. Jeez! Alright. Uh, what? I'm not used to not being cloaked on this mission, which is a big change, and the ramp is a bit of a problem. Where do I go here? Oh, that's not good. So we cannot just rush up there like normal. Here, don't kill me. There we go. There we go. We just steal all of their friends. Then we're good. No, what? What killed us? Uh, does anyone know what killed me? I thought I was good. Oh, I'm trying to go fast and it's not working. Oh, the Marines. Okay. Um, I don't like this position. I just have to utilize. 
There we go. Acquiring access. Uh, yeah, I could definitely do this way faster. I played pretty poorly here. That's pretty obvious. Why don't you just die? Progress is made by the bold. And now I'm very low on HP. Oh, crap! I thought... I was so focused on trying to get vision. This is one... Oh, it's so easy when you do it with Nova. I completely forgot about that nuke, because when you speedrun this normally, the nuke is such a non-issue, you don't even think about it. It's not part of your strat. That was my bad. Okay. Nuke me, please. Do I get vision there? No? Yes? I can't see the red dot. I thought there was supposed to be a red dot there. Uh, I might just be blind? Uh, seriously? Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard? Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, crawl. You guys can see the red dot? I can't. I can't see one. Uh, I guess it's not there. Oh gosh. I don't see any dot. Oh, because it's over there that time. <laughs> Thank you. How do I approach this? Because usually you just mind control up here. But I don't have my... I can't... I can't see stuff like... There's normally supposed to be a raven up there that you can see. I have no health to work with. Hmm. I don't know where the raven went. Because usually what you do is you come over here, you mind control the raven, and then you blast the objective. Also, I don't have my top bar anymore. So I don't have the solar bombardment I'm supposed to have because resume from replay broke everything. Which is not ideal. So I guess I have to do like a cannon crawl in order to figure this out. Which, sure, I'll do that. I mean, resume from replay has always been a little bit funky, so what you gonna do? We can, uh, you know, this is the first mission that's gone absolutely terribly, and I'm pretty happy with that. Everything else today has been pretty darn fine. So we're just gonna take the L here. And then we'll be back to missions that I'm familiar with pretty soon. This one's interesting, though, in how different it is from normal. Like, this is the first one that has been wildly different in its execution because the standard execution is so focused on Nova. And we just, we do not have that power level. It's a completely different unit. It takes a lot of lateral thinking, and I'm a stupid person. So, I'm not good at that. Either that or I'm just, uh... You know, creating a little bit of a time buffer so that my challenge will still remain to whoever can get the best time in the next five days on this campaign, single segment, will uh, win a subscription to the Awesome Socks Club for one year. Alright, we're going to the dig. This is going to be the one where I lose a lot of time and you guys are going to be able to get a ton of it, I bet. Use the Spire to deal with dangerous enemies. I thank you for the Zerg tips. I appreciate them. The Normal, warp in, orbital assimilators, uh, deploy Phoenix, solar lance, adept. Probably want stun here. Dark Archon might be the play of the game. Energizer, Vanguard. Boom. Uh, Void Ray's gonna be play of the game, let's be honest. It might be like the Silink Spire from that one mission in Heart of the Swarm. Oh. I don't remember. I played this before, but it was a very long time ago. What unit do we get here? Reaver? Carrier? Just Warp Prism in a carrier? Oh, Vanguards. I'll take it. Uh, not used to them trying to warp in like that. That's pretty funny. 
So we do have to take down these buildings. I'm going to do it now. And we're going to go. Make sure we have ener everybody energized. The Archon is going to hurt. Having the vanguards is nice, though. Oh, there is no Archon. It got cut. that as fast as possible, get the economy up, and then start getting auto gases. Oh, the Archon's on Brutal, right. Uh, I'll be honest, my recently I was playing this in Mercenaries Only on the Giant Grunt Games Archives YouTube channel, and I was used to that. What do we have here? Yeah, Spire of Destruction. I like it. Giant uh, Destroyer on top, which is why it takes so long to kill the door. So first things first, we'll head on over. We probably want to start pushing around the time we get the laser drill. I think that's how you normally do it. Usually you do some like fancy bunker stuff, but we're not going to have any fancy bunkers to do stuff with. So that's a no-go. Instead, just focus on getting this economy up real quick. And yeah, I'm going to do voids at the beginning. Just because that means we're going to take the lowest amount of damage. And of course, Legacy of the Void. Or, yeah, Legacy of the Void Ray is pretty good. These attacks are smaller than normal, I think. I'm just going to knock this guy out of the park, and then we're going to grab the buildings down here because we do have to kill every single building. Power him, power him. There we go. All those buildings are dealt with. Now, normally, they take down this base first, but I'm kind of feeling taking down this base first. I actually think that Phoenix is going to be able to do a whole lot here. Thirty. 50, start getting these. Uh, I need the cyber core for upgrades. I'll pull these away so we can take them down quickly. And then we're gonna pop up. See what we can do here. Okay, no. There's too much in there. Oh gosh. We're gonna sacrifice the adept to try to save that, and then use the monolith. Chase him away. Take him down. So, Phoenix, not as good as I was hoping. I mean, he lived for a really long time. He's definitely got a place. He's just not going to be able to solo the base. And I think that Phoenix is going to be a big part of our future. He's very good. Cybercore go. Void rays amassing. Come up here. Start the chronos. I'm actually starting to think that maybe going for... Nah, definitely. I don't... Part of my head says that going for Vanguard, Energizer, Adept would have been better. Just because it starts up so quickly. But Void Rays finish the enemy off so quickly that it's hard to say which is better. Well, the one that doesn't get me supply blocked is better. I'm just, I'm syncing up all my production times. This is a strategy from, from gaming. Hope you've heard of it. So this is where we start getting access to the drill, and that's where we're going to be able to start clearing. Uh, we're going to use Phoenix again once... Once they give us the Spire of Destruction. Not yet. There we go. You would desecrate that which belongs to the God. Yeah, I would. This will not be borne by the faithful. Uh, looks like we need even more Stargates. I don't know how many we need. Choose to believe it's a... Did I just add assimilators to my hotkeys instead of Stargates? Nailed it. 
So we finish off these, and then it's time to go. This is an infinitely better army than what I had before. And we're going to have high ground vision, so we can just plop our friend down and start blasting. And Phoenix don't die. There we go. Bust it on through. Oh, Phoenix is great. I love him. He's my StarCraft waifu. Because he punch, and he spin, and he play to win. Now, I don't think we're going to have Phoenix available for the next base. It's... We're probably fine. From this side, we're going to get one Centurion to finish these off, and... Yeah, we're fine. Just keep pushing in, charge up our voids. Don't know if this is a good angle, but we have the Draken Laser Drill now, so we can just keep drilling. Just make sure we're targeting down whatever we can with the drill. Get a couple guys to help out. Even though they're going to die pretty fast, they can at least put whatever damage they can down. There's a lot of production over here. Talvarim ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down. We want the laser drill on the big buildings. I'm gonna choose to believe that static defense is enough here, and then if it's not, we can use the drill to take down individual guys. Yeah, the static defense plus the random void rays we had. They were like rallying. No problem. And there was no place for a lot of the enemies to warp in. So they couldn't come from the right hand side. But that was a mistake. Sorry, Mr. Void. up again. Oh, their voids are uh, sometimes beating mine. That's a problem. The rallying guys over to attack, which is a good reason that we're attacking from this direction, so we don't have to deal with those excess forces. Finish that off, and you know what? Pull these guys. Oh, now Phoenix is expensive. What a pricey boy. Alarax warriors have established a large stronghold here. Templar, pull back. We do not have time to engage this base. I don't think the probes helped. <laughs> I pulled them thinking that they'd give me some extra damage, but in reality, they just died to a Colossus. <laughs> I mean, it's worth trying. It's just also worth evaluating your experience to see if it was a good one or not. That was a pretty good dig overall. Way easier than Ghost of a Chance. <laughs> hmm. This is the first time you've seen the map like that, never seen someone charge through the top right of the base. Uh, so, usually when you're going infantry, it's easier because you don't have flying units to approach it from. Otherwise, uh, so you want to attack from the left to right so that you can make your rally go properly. But we didn't, we had flying units, so we didn't have to care about that, which means that hitting from the right hand side was a little bit easier. I don't know if we have to kill those. I don't think we do. We didn't lose a whole lot of time from stutter stepping, but. I also don't know this mission very well. That's fine. And then we have Mind Blast over here. And every time that we get to one of the temples, we should full heal, right? Oh, that is a very thin ramp, I see. Well, that's one way to do it. 
So this is definitely going to be slower than it is doing it with Zeratul because we don't have blink for that hyper mobility. But we do have ranged to stand off against stuff a lot easier. Our kill speeds are going to be pretty good. Hang in there, Tosh. My boys are moving in to back you up. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, we're going murder mode. We got the war pigs. Can we leave? Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what the trigger was there. Remember, just keep sending in troops and I'll do the rest. So actually, I think I want Tosh to be detected a lot of the time so that he can soak the shots and the war pigs can do the damage. Kind of like this, because he has that rechargeable shield. Yeah, that worked out quite nicely. Got down. Careful, careful. Oh gosh. Save that man. And move on to this segment. Now we don't need to do any of the bonus temples, which is good. Alert. Enemy air units on approach vector. He's over here. Tosh over here. That drops units, so we just stop it from being able to do that. And then we save Tosh because he is a vulnerable boy who needs his friends to help him. But friends are... Friendship is great. There's nothing wrong with that. Skip the hatchery, and we'll head to the place that heals all of us up. I hope. <laughs> I don't actually know for sure. Go meditate, Tosh. Tosh doesn't seem like a temple man. I'm just going to be honest about that. yours are dwindling by the minute. This can only end one way. Ah! Oh, that ultra scared me. But it turns out that having a million war pigs are pretty good. These guys feel better than normal war pigs. 13.75 damage. Darn straight they are. That damage mod's pretty good. Oh, I like this part with Tosh. Mmm, that's way better than normal. <laughs> oh gosh, more banelings. No! Oh. Let's get over to Karas, who is not Karax. I do what I want to open your mind. I do convince me more. We're gonna stun the everything. Burn all that down. Double dogs actually being moderately okay. A little bit more air. We'll take down the Nidus because Double Dogs are not great at... Okay, they're not great. They absorb damage. That's all that we can ask from them. Then we want to be on the spot and start the final event. We're almost all of my... Oh, they're all still alive. Nice. We have so much more than you normally would at this point. We can just stutter step our way to victory. That ability is so good. It's a good thing that we don't have any carriers here. Get on through and get onto the ship. Yeah, it's really a good thing we have no air unit that we're using to evac there, huh? For the 700 Scourge. Okay, this is going to be the Mar one. I know exactly how to do this. Sir, boom, 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 go. Tongue. What's going on? And we're just going to send this over to Mars Helm. Easy peasy. 
We're gonna get a Spectre Hut. Oh, do we not have Spectres on this mission? I thought we did. Hmm. I must be dumb. Oh, you get them. Of course, it's... You gotta go over to the abandoned structure. Make friends with it. Try getting plus one. Make our Spectres a little bit more murdery. So do I just go over here and rescue it? I don't have to, like, build anything, right? No, no, barracks. Barracks. Our SCVs are under base. Okay. Is under attack. Yeah, yeah. Welcome aboard, boys. Cool. Be in the rear with the gear. I'm tired of waiting. Swing them on down. SCV ready. Wait, can we just land this right here and get this other barracks? Because that would increase base my speed overall. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, we'll make one guy. I think that that is the plan. That'll be faster. Enlighten me. Just out of my way. And I don't know what we're going to unlock with that. It doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go. Start producing. The preservers you seek serve a higher power now, Dark One. I'm glad we got the fire bat. My favorite. What the? Here we get on in there. And land near Mar. Go ahead. So all we have to do is make sure that we land in a place that allows us to build some specters, which shouldn't be that hard. Lab right there. I'm gonna try getting the other one on the other side just in case they find us so that I'm in a healthy spot no matter what. I think Mars is gonna go on an adventure though and he's not gonna find me. Maybe. I mean, if I were a Mar, I wouldn't be able to see this. I kind of wish he would just go. There we go. Thank you. So, first one's first. We're going to cloak and we're going to start attacking over there. I cloaked way too early. Oh, it doesn't even matter. And we just have to take these down at about the same time. Uh, I'm actually going to unload here. I'm going to move this and Bring it. then Bring pull this me. back because I don't want to kill him because I don't What's want him to call? reset. How many shots? We can get that down to one shot. These guys do 26. There we go. Mars distracted. These are going down. This is totally normal. Perfect. No, you don't have to do the... There's one objective that's like, it's usually power your base, or in this one, repair your buildings, and no, you just don't have to do it. <laughs> I've detailed a new research project on the console over there. Please take a look if you have time. Uh, doesn't matter, but doesn't matter, go. Convince me. I'll just get Tosh over to yes. this place real quick. They should just give you the medevac for this one, so you can just go through the middle. Ooh, we have orbital. That's gonna be good. You 
Weskin or Delhi. So we're not going to be able to super power clear this mission just off of the way that it is, but we're going to still be pretty quick, I think. We've got to clear this area. Salvage, salvage. Get a bunker, get a bunker. We'll go marine medic for the most part. Oh, maybe I didn't need... Uh, well, I got it, so I'm going to get a couple marauders just in case. Why not? They're pretty good. And the tanks can help the defense early on. I, maybe I should have gotten quick depots. They fall from the sky. There's definitely, because I can switch up what my laboratory researches are, there's definitely times in these types of missions where going for weird stuff is probably the call. Like, usually instant depots isn't great, but I don't think microfiltering is huge here either. There's a bunch of money to the right-hand side I should probably grab. That'll really help my build-up speed. We're just gonna get those medics ready. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. Okay. Maybe they'll give me plus two attack. Morning. Incoming Zerg attack wave. Is there just detection everywhere? Yeah, there's detection everywhere. So we cannot do any sort of shenanigans to get him over. We're gonna have to be pretty good with our clearing. Turns out the tanks are pretty good, though. And we'll get the mercenaries when we can. Leave the factory alone. Do we need an armory? No, we do not. Thank you, game. And with this many men, I feel confident getting to the first area. That'll be pretty easy. Tosh will do the tanking. He'll get healed by the medic. And the infantry provides the fire support that we need. I know what you mean, man. Do we rescue this as well? Yeah, we do. And that gives us... Oh my goodness, that's huge. Okay, that is something I should focus on then. I had no idea. Open your... send some body bags. I don't have any of these guys. Oh, and Tosh doesn't have to channel at the point. Okay. So we're going to start clearing. Uh, lower this depot so that we can actually go as a big happy family. And let's just try to win this. So hit the obelisk, get a bunch of mercs. I don't really care about the rest of this. 20 seconds. Still the ultra. Lots of medics. I'm not even sure the medics are going to be able to join up, though. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with that. Uh, we don't have consumption on Tosh, so he cannot eat things for faster energy. Which is a bit of a shame. And I'm super supply blocked. Oh, I missed that one. Sean, and there's just one more. One more. Okay, so Tosh does need to channel at this one. And all we need to do is provide a damage sponge to get Tosh onto the final point. So these guys go this way, Tosh go over here. And we're done. Goodbye, my friends. Okay, let's go in under darkness. Okay. Northern 
So hard is the fastest way to do in Outer Darkness. I based some of my work on that. And then doesn't matter, doesn't matter, start. What's cracking? So this is gonna be Oh, we only have one base. You asking or tell it. Not asking about having one base. These have a lot of money on them, so let's just get another orbital or two. Why not? And we'll play the defense game. Out with it. I like the colony ship just has random colonists on it. This is just this is the worst timeline where the doctor's folly has gone so far that the universe is ending because she can't get her stupid colonists anywhere properly. Oh. Dr. Hansen, what a loser. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Hey, thanks, Swan. Welcome aboard, boys. Let's uh, move this. Just put it a little bit over here. Seems good to me. I'll do the same with this one. It's just a bit more protected in that area. Probably want guys on gas as well. We just don't start with many workers. All in all, I'm not too worried about this. Yeah, we have six guys on gas and two guys on minerals at this point, which is a little bit low. Good thing we can hire mercenaries at the end of the universe. I know someone is going to, like, hop into the stream right now and be like, No, wait, what? He says Protoss Edition. Is he lying? These are Deterrents. And they're going to be so upset with me. Because we have to do In Utter Darkness as Terran. We're going to have a meltdown. There's going to be a Reddit post. It's giant great games of fraud. He said that it was Deterrent, but it was Protoss. He's clickbaiting. Sorry, man. This is how it works. The answer is yes, I am a fraud. Hey, give me a hand, will ya? Okay. Here's Betty. I know it That's TV ready. And we're gonna get infantry ready. weapon level Complete. two. Complete. TV ready. I wonder if we can beat this mercenaries old <laughs> gonna be able to hold that off. Let's just get a devil dog in there. Why not? What's going on? We're get one of those and one of those. Yeah. Why not try mercenaries only? I got nothing better to do and it's hard version, so we should be fine. If it gets really bad, I'll make sure I have the infrastructure available to actually not die. This will be a little treat for people that care, which is like probably four of you. Three of them being me. Oh, let's get the ship plating. Mules are going to be pretty good to afford these mercenaries. Come on. I'm so excited for them. Here they go. Take them down. Perfect. We're going to have you rallied here, you rallied here, and then you rallied here. So that I can have lots and lots of repairs. And we're going to finish off the walls because we have nowhere to go. I don't care about being outside. This is just like real life. Get an armor upgrades first. Because if I'm going mercenaries only, then I need to keep them alive. Good thing we got Shrike turrets to help out. They're going to be good. Oh, we got to get those Spartans. So this is where the hybrid come. Oh, does this mod hit you with scarier hybrid? It might. A lot of mods that I play on this hit with way scarier hybrid. Nothing that Betty can't handle.
Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty. I love you so. I know that you're Swan's lover, but at least you can be my bro. We've got a hundred tons of Zerg incoming. Come to mules. Keep it going, repair it up. We're gonna pull these back a little bit so that the SCVs can move around nice and easily. Or take this guy on an adventure. And we can go for some attack upgrades now. Siege it up, and siege it up. This seems pretty good. I'm having a hard time. Turrets aren't doing too well, but we have a bunch of Vikings that can help. I don't think the Vikings have upgrades, though. I'm not sure. Because we have those tanks over there, we don't have to care about this counterattack nearly as much. So we'll have these guys. Oh no, Hank! He's fine. He's doing great. They just keep sending the roaches, huh? Those are not having a good day against the Mass Siege Breaker. Hydras are doing okay, though. It's funny, usually the multi prong stuff on this mission is really a pain, but when you play Terran, it's just like, oops, I accidentally defended against your multi prong. Oh well, sucks to be you. Yeah, these guys definitely don't have their upgrades. Oh, maybe it's just the Vikings. Because the Goliath does. I clicked on it. Oh yeah, Duskwings. Nova Covert Ops. Now I do remember something from this mod that we gotta do. There's a good thing here. Do that, and then we're gonna run up here, and we're gonna get my favorite mercenary of them Nova all. Acknowledged. Upgrade complete. En route. There we Say go. <laughs> oh. Is he gonna be good behind the bunkers? No. Is he gonna be my best friend? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad Synergy left this in. The like the big defining marker, in my opinion, between good and bad mod makers is when you find something that's kind of a bug, and instead of just fixing it, you go, how cool is this? And then you just let it stay. Because should you be able to take the Omegalisk? Probably not. But yeah, you absolutely should be able to. If that makes any sense. Every modder would be like, no, it's not the right way to do it, but it is the best way to do it. Ah, now we have so many Banshees. This is awesome. Rhyme's favorite unit. They say he's more Banshee than man. Oh, we gotta get that plus two Banshee weapons, though. Otherwise, the durable carapace of those hybrid are going to stop me from killing them. So we're at 96. We still have to get uh, 12 more... 13, 14, 15, 16 more supply worth of stuff, so we're going to have to kill some of our workers at some point. I wish that I had uh, three more devil dogs so I could fill every one of my bunkers with some devil dogs. That would be... That'd be the end game. He's so excited. He wants to fight. He wants to smash. He's so ready for it. But we just deny him over and over. I'm going to pull this back. I meant to do that earlier, and then I messed up my hockeys. Oh, Betty there's going to roast him good. So after this, we're going to be able to move back to the Terran, or to the Protoss stuff, and we're going to do the train robbery, which is another mission that there's minor time saves, but not major ones. 
However, I think I know how I want to do it. And it should work out really, really well. So I think that's going to be a very... I think the next few missions are just going to be a breeze. So 16, 4, Upgrade 1, 2. We want this many guys over here. And then we're going to shoot them. Because we're the good guys. But we're the good guys who need some supply. Here they come. Chugga chugga. Wait, that trains is next. I don't know why I chugga chugga. We're going to put one here and one on the left. I generally feel like the attacks on the right are less bad. I don't know why. I don't know if that's just my dumb man brain that doesn't know how to do stuff right telling me that or if I'm actually correct. We'll see. Oh, I gotta keep getting upgrades. <laughs> Are there any back here? There might be. No? <laughs> I can't even see the Nidus's before they die. There's one. <laughs> what do we get this time? Battle cruisers? Oh, battle cruisers. Oh no, I didn't get my final guy. I'm never going to get the dusk wings. Or I'm just going to it's going to be so sad. Well, you know what? We can kill all my SCV. No. Even if I do that. These these are my backup dusk wings in Jackson's revenge. They're for later. I'm saving them. I really need more gas though. Pretty soon is where they start getting super aggressive, right? They just start attacking with everything? Maybe? What do you think, Mr. Omegalisk? Oh, he burrows fast! Look at him! Boom. <laughs> That's awesome. I love him. I want him to just be with us forever. He should be an honorary general of the Terran. Not just honorary. He should just get a true promotion, actually. Let's just keep mewling the same exact patch. That's always a good strategy. You can tell when someone doesn't main Terran because that's what they do. They just, they'll just they have their patch and they just keep mewling it over and over again. And this one's going to extinguish way before all the others. Dog is cheap. I don't think you don't think an Omegalisk would fit in the Hyperion Bridge? He could fit in the armory. You ever think about that? He'd have a really good time in there. Why'd the enemy not attack? Where are they? Where's where's my more enemy button to press on this mission? Oh yeah, here they come. Gonna have a bad day now. Come from the bottom. Speak what are you doing? This is a bad place for you. At least be up with your siege tank, buddies. Yeah, you have zero kills. Swarm and toss one of those out. They're at 222 upgrades. That's pretty good. So. Infantry stuff is almost done, and then plus two all on my on my factory armor and starport armor is almost done. We have enough gas now to afford all the rest of the upgrades, so we're good there. And I said that I was going to build emergency buildings in case everything went wrong, so that I could build something other than mercenaries. And I'm going to do that now. I think that my experience as a gamer has taught me that there is a unit. That if things go really wrong, I'll be able to call on to help. <laughs> You'll never guess which one it is. With my uh, nine barracks. As I was your beginning, so shall I be your end. 
base is under attack. Oh yeah, we got tech reactors. I forgot I grabbed that. It's not useful. How many kills does this guy have? 23, not bad. I'm not sure why I brought him out during a combat situation when I could have just waited like 45 more seconds. <laughs> it would have been fine. But, you know, he wanted to take that siege tank shot. 13, 15. Oh, dude, you're actually brilliant. Make some ghost academies so I can end the mission quickly by nuking myself. Yo, that's next level. I actually, I genuinely think that's amazing advice. If only I had ghosts. Can Nova nuke? No, she cannot. I'm still going to be prepared for it, just in case. Some brood lords, I think, from one side. Yeah, there they are. I take that down. Perfect. Kinda. Just trying to pay attention to what damage is coming from where. Ooh, I actually broke it. Final one. And we're very close to having this mission be over with. Alright, nukes ahoy. I think I'm going to have to start getting rid of SCVs so I can afford ghosts so that I can nuke myself. Which is just a wonderful way to do this mission. First thing that I should get rid of are my depots, right? Because I won't need them because I'll be maxed. Well, SCV's actually first. Yeah, whatever. Start opening this up. What's going on? In the rear, that. We only need the guys on gas. Gotcha. And some of these. Our SCVs are under and attack. Oh, he's gonna have his snack. Does he not do splash? Oh, he does a little bit of splash. It's just not that impressive. Get him. I almost got him. Oh, there it goes. All right, here it comes. Did I get all the nukes? I did. Oh, they're, they're coming. They are not happy with what's been going on over here. Dude, wait. The synergy has it set so these guys auto cloak because they have the cloak upgrade so it doesn't take energy. That's amazing. That's such a nice quality of life upgrade. That's so cool of you, Synergy. Now let me use these nukes for their intended purpose. Uh, I don't want to nuke the academies yet, though. Maybe I just manually kill those. I guess that's the Omegalisk's new job. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yes, Commander. Maybe if we kill everything that can't move, it'll be good? Yeah. Convince me. Lift all these. You are going to... No, it, we only have a couple minutes to do this. What? What? Oh, um... Huh? Why did it go over there? What happened? It's just <laughs> that was interesting. Street. 
Yeah, kill everything that can't move. And then actually, I guess I want the finale part to be over here. So we're going to pull back. Because that'll make it easier to clean everything up at the end. Just set this right here. Yeah, no, Broodlings do not give kills on this mission. Okay, take all that down. Uh, fire bats are going to die. That is fine. Just use this fortified position here with SCVs to repair. And make sure that the specters don't die. You can just, like, hold position right here, Mr. Omegalisk. That is perfectly fine. Just be the infinite wall of doom. Talk to me. And then we just need more enemies to attack. Here they come. Everything over here. I guess we don't want it over there, we want it. Sell me. Okay. Then we go. Nuke, 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 nuke. And we hope that uh, enough guys come. There we go. <laughs> What's in it for All of these over here. No! Oh, wait! Oh, I didn't fire the nukes fast enough. Okay, well. That's not good. Uh, we need to kill the Hyperion because he's killing the enemies, even though I'm telling him to attack other stuff. That was not ideal. Also, these Ghost Academies just survived nukes like a boss. I could have I could have executed this way better. <laughs> the idea is definitely there, though. If I had, like, a rapid-fire nuke hotkey, it would not have been a problem. Please send some anti-air. Yeah, here we go. Big Hydra energy to take it down. Yeah, so we would have had to do, uh, build all the silos in one place, and then we go, like, three nukes here, or er, four nukes here, and then three nukes here at, uh, on all the silos and the specters dropping them. That would have properly done it. Oh well. It's uh, not the end of the world. It's a cool little thought. <laughs> Hang on, how do you properly execute yourself fast enough to end this mission? I like it. Alright, next mission. No! What? No! Oh, run! We need the afterburners! Get over there! How could you have betrayed me like this, Barracks? And I can't land it because you're going to block a landing zone. Uh, that's funny. All right, great train robbery. This is going to be a quick one. Here we go. Back to Protoss. So, boom, boom. Uh, doesn't matter. Orbital simulators. Boy Phoenix. Uh, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, go. Give us your so get our units. I don't know exactly what we start with. I don't remember this mission. Oh, annihilators. Nice. Stop dancing and join my team. There we go. <laughs> they just, they gotta get funky before they join. Oh, I didn't change it to brutal. Well, that's gonna lose me a couple seconds, but it would take way longer to actually reset from here. That's fine. 
It's not that much longer. It's just the trains spawn like 10 seconds faster a piece. Something like that. Well, we can we can just make up for it by executing this perfectly. Go to the robo. We're gonna be all about the robos today. We're gonna be robros. And we can take this expansion. Because I have everything that I need. And I don't know what we get with the defiler bones, but I assume it's not defilers. I prefer to be defilers, that'd be sweet. Oh. Yeah, oh, I forgot that this campaign came out when Synergy was boring. He was, he used to not be cool. <laughs> it wasn't until Nova Covert Ops uh, Protoss Edition that he finally was like, oh wait, I could put cool stuff as bonus objectives. And it definitely wasn't because I just told him that over and over for like, ever. <laughs> 25 Spear of a Dune Energy, yay. Okay, so the way this mission works on the speed run is the train spawns are independent of each other, as you can see in the top right. Uh, killing one faster does not actually change anything, which means the only one that you have to kill really, really fast is the final one. Until then, it's all about making sure that you have the maximum number of units available so that you can kill it, the final train real quick. We are probably going to be able to max out, though, so we'll be able to curate our composition. Maybe we won't, I don't know. This mission and money is always a weird relationship. And there does appear to be more money on this than normal. Maybe not. Here we go, Vanguard's going. And plus one attack him. Yeah, Annihilators are way better than Diamondbacks. They fire very quick. I think that the Diamondback has an attack speed of 2, and the Annihilator is 1.45. So they just they put out the pain real quick. And they're going to be nothing compared to what we get later. But we do need to get all of them. Let's see, we have a minute. Our expansion should be operational. There it is. But this is going to mine out, right? So I might as well just leave the expo for now. Use the extra chrono to get more guys. And then just have a very free transfer over there later. Oh, more energy. This is great. Having a blast. I'm gonna need another gateway too. Because we need to actually spend all of this insane amount of gas that we're getting. <laughs> Goodbye, enemies. <laughs> the amount of time that it takes is so funny. It's just, it is, uh, they keep dancing. Oh, it is. You just, like, have to set a timer for them when you can go back and grab your friend. I wonder if we can afford a third one. Third robo. Probably not. Not with two gateways. Oh no, there's escorts guarding the train. By the way, <laughs> what train? Here, Phoenix, you want to go fight over... Uh, I don't think I can push him into those guys. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think that we're going to do pretty good at killing this train at the end. Here it comes, and... Get it going. More vanguards. The energizers are just so cheap, it's wonderful. It's a shame you can't just mind control the train. That would be a good ending, wouldn't it? So the next train... Oh! I will be boldly... 
underscored and italicized for you, Vorazoon. Maybe even a strength through. That was a pretty easy fight. Vorazoon is always so overly dramatic. Are these the fire bats that my mother faced? No, Vorazoon. These are much devil doggier. I don't know where the next train comes. It might be top, it might be... Oh, it's bottom. Yeah, this is the bottom train. I couldn't remember if it was number three, number four. Something like that. I should have picked more top bar abilities that had value. <laughs> Alright, time for the disappearing act. Three, two, one... The Vanguard is such a balanced unit. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go up and clear here. Oh, they might attack us. I don't know. I don't care. I have Phoenix. It's fine. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to go over here and get ready for this train. Maximize the amount of time I have available. Ow. I can't deal with that. I don't know if they rebuild this. They might. Hope not. I also hope they don't attack me. Because I just remembered that I have no idea if Phoenix actually blows through air units when he comes down from the sky, or if that's a different game mode. I know in some game mode he does, and it's real cool. No! Leave him alone! He's innocent! I'm not even going to get defensive upgrades. I'm just going to go all in on having the ultimate burst army. So as these run out, we can just kind of waddle them on over here. And we're actually having... No! Oh, what? Oh, how could you? I was tricked. I was bamboozled. What a strategy. <laughs> I'm going to go kill that base because I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so upset. This is the worst thing that's happened to me in my life. Oh, man. Oh, we barely beat those fire bats. Okay, we're going to take down these bases. It's just, it's too hard to move around. Oh, I can't deal with that high ground guy either. Man, the minion just has the awesome placement. all this out and then go up the ramp we gotta take down this dastardly depot oh, that's good enough we're gonna phoenix them finish the rest of this off you don't really fight much Terran in Legacy of the Void, do you? Because the Vanguard is insane against them. And you don't really register that until you play... I mean, it's insane against everything, but I think it's actually best against Terran. Ah, hey. Hey, um, I'm economy in here. What a jerk. I mean, watch. There's just nobody in there now. Yeah, the only mission where you could use them against Terran is Ravenscar, which is the mission where you got the carrier, and everything is air. So it's not the greatest mission to try it on. Bottle. You're fine. 
Where do the skill teams come from? Do they come out of here? They might. I hope so. Fire arc. The Dominion kill teams. Did I not get that? Oh, I should. Yeah, let's get that 25 Spear of a Dune energy. I can't believe that that guy lived. Does he have Juggernaut plating? No, seriously, when do the Dominion kill teams come? I thought I knew how this mission worked. <laughs> I apparently don't. Does an Energizer beat a Marine? One sec. It's a... Ow! <laughs> That's not who I thought would fight. Okay, the next train's the down here, because it just alternates back and forth forever now, I think. Oh, they're trying to rebuild. Oh no! I left! Ah, they knew it. They're too smart. Wait a moment. I have a better idea. Does Phoenix beat the Dominion kill teams? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> what a chad. Uh. Oh, they totally rebuilt this area. So this is where they go for the swift trains, right? I don't know what voice line they're going to use. It's like... There's just no train-related voice lines for Protoss. This must have been really hard for Synergy to make. And we have to figure out where the Hellions come from and kill them? I guess we can't. I don't see any Hellions. I don't need the extra expansion. Money is for losers. What do you think I'm going to do? Macro? <laughs> no. If you go over 14 workers, then you've built way too many in StarCraft. How else are you going to have a big army? Look at me. I have seven workers. That means I'm twice as good as the person who needs 14. That's how the math works. There's not much to do here. He's this way. I guess we want the vanguards in the front, the annihilators behind. Why did the Dominion need to activate an abandoned train network just to deal with a single adjutant? Was it abandoned? Because they're bringing a bunch of other stuff on the train network. I thought it was uh, one that was abandoned by the Confederacy and then like reactivated by the Dominion to transport stuff around this dead world that they're salvaging. I don't know. I, I haven't paid attention to the lore in a decade and a half. I was about to say a decade and a half and that would be a lie. Game hasn't been out that long. Okay. Come get me, train. I fight on. Okay, uh, we go do 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 do. Just juice everybody up. One more. I'm waiting. Then we'll be done. Oh, I didn't even get to use my boy Phoenix. Where do these guys keep coming from? Are they bringing them all the way, I guess, from down here? Can we put Phoenix on the other side of this? No, must target a walkable location. Once again, StarCraft ruining all the fun. Is this a walkable location? No. Oh, it has to be visible, too. Man, so many restrictions. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's... Oh, it's got to be a place on the map. Oh, this is just considered not walkable. Very well. 
<laughs> this guy's just hiding. That's a walkable location. Phoenix gets called for all the weirdest stuff. That does make sense. It has to be walkable. He's got four legs. That poor soul. Are you implying that SCVs have souls? They do not. Terran players don't have souls in general, and neither do their units. They sold their soul for Marine Micro. I will serve. Which, unfortunately, most of them don't have still, but that's okay. Ow! Stop! No, oh, ow, ow! Leave them alone, they don't have hardened shield. Train. Good. Alright, cutthroat is going to be a very simple one. Because we discovered this strat a long time ago. By the way, today is going to... Today's going to go over a little bit, I think. How many missions do we have left? Uh, never mind. We're going to continue... We're going to do... We might have to do this in a two-day thing. There's no way we can finish today. Unfortunately. Acquiring access. Where's my base? Where's my base? Here's my base. Thank you. Perfect. Let's go over here. Get our first little thing. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. Yay, phoenixes. I love the phoenix. It's one of my favorite units that we won't use. I mean, we'll use it on this mission, but for the most part, no. Alright, just stay up all night. It's like 5pm my time, so that's a long time <laughs> from now. But no, I just, uh, I'm sorry, I have, uh... Oh, death to get to! No! I want to be all, like, uh, mysterious and say, oh, I have other appointments to get to. But in reality, I have to go to Nax Ramus tonight, bros. I gotta parse. That's how it goes. Gotta get those gargoyle snapshots. Alright, warp in the phoenixes with a warp prism? <laughs> Wait, why? Okay. Sure. Stargates can now warp in phoenixes. They are extremely mobile and effective at Yo, that would be cool if you could lift up the boxes and collect them. That would be fantastic. I think that would be a really good addition. We should not let these resources go to waste. Okay. Thanks for the advice, Zeratul. Uh, can we lift? No, we're fine. Done. Easy peasy. <laughs> I like that strat. Uh, the first time I played this, I accidentally did this. Like, I just kind of threw him out. I was like, I wonder how much he can do. And then he just won the mission. I was like, oh. And that's the whole reason that like a year and a half later, I'm speedrunning this because I remembered that. I was like, that was funny. Let's see if we can do that again. The starfighters have arrived, and they await your evaluation. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Boom, 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 boom. This ain't a stealth mission anymore. Gotta make sure that we are chronoing Tychus because he is the time limiter with his movement speed. Chrono 
again. Oh, we got blood hunters. Nice. Or HUD blunters. And we got Tychus there in record time. Ooh. Thank you, uh, Altier19 for the sub. I appreciate it. And we're going to go over here. How do we deal with the battle cruisers with blood hunters? I don't know. We're just going to make a bunch of blood hunters and see how it goes, actually. It seems like it's a good strat. As long as they don't have ravens. I don't know if they do. I mean, Dark Templar are generally a good plan. And this should make the Odin's life really easy. They also scale really well with number because they can just turn more and more detection off. So this seems like a wonderful, wonderful unit for this mission. Finish off the production facilities and keep it going for the Odin. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep an energizer with the Odin too, just just in case that wasn't a, a clear idea. Obviously, that's insane. over here. Alright, first area dealt with. Let's uh, continue to the next one. Wait, he just goes this way? He's just like, okay, I'm done. Sick. I'm actually not sure I want to go that way. Okay, let's get some more blood hunters. We do have to watch out because we don't have the ability to repair the Tychus. That can make things a little bit bad in the future. We are going to have access to our best friend very soon. Tychus, where are you going? What is, what is your plan here? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh, enough sigh. Okay. Take us fight the base. And we can take down that. And there's nothing they can do. And then we're going to be able to grab both of these gas geysers and get even more of the blood hunters. Oh gosh, he's so good! Oh, Chrono Doden. This is wonderful. Just figure out where you want to go there, Chief. Oh, ah, Tychus! You're so stupid! Why? <laughs> oh. All it did was increase the speed of his indecision. I don't know if there's detection around here. I don't think that I can wait for Phoenix to be available this time, so... We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to walk up that ramp like men. Recklessly and probably fatally. It's the manly way to do it. What, there's... They forget the missile turrets today? What's going on? Oh, there it is. And then we just bring these over here. Okay, there goes that base. Uh, stop worker production. And finish this all off. We're going to save Tychus for the next one. He somehow has 35 kills, despite not really doing that much. That's, uh, that's interesting. 
I guess there's just a lot of stuff on this mission. Go. I'm hitting my stride now. Okay, take down those. Get ready to move to the next spot. Now, I hope there's not detections on the high ground. There's a bunch of high ground areas in the next zone. We have to make sure do not bully us into oblivion. Tychus has taken a lot of weird paths this time. Oh no, okay, so if there isn't a base there, he does just ignore that. Good to know. Disable the turret. Come up here to look for more detection, not seeing it. Oh, well, that's disabled again. That's fine. Oh, these guys are great. They're not as good as the other Dark Templar variant, but they're still amazing. I don't think the Odin's going to be able to help us in that final area either, because we just have to go, 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 huh? That's unfortunate. Would have been nice to have him available. Phoenix as well. Nah, we don't have time for that. I have one guy go over here, and then the rest are going to keep clearing. Use the Energizer, actually. So they don't seem to have ravens, which is real nice. Or at least they don't seem to utilize ravens if they have them. I think I see... Nope, that's a viking. Yeah, no ravens. This is just... This is the paradise for the blood hunter. Good fight, Odin. You did great. Okay, we gotta turn Void Stasis off so that we stop disabling all these. Five out of five. Do we have to wait for Tyka still? No, we don't. Perfect. And... Um, <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, so is he just gonna walk on over here and then nuke nothing? Is that how he goes? <laughs> no, he just had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. All right, my friends, it is the end of <laughs> It is the end of the stream today. I have given the thing a pause and we are going to finish up this run tomorrow at uh the same time as always, 2 p.m. Pacific or whatever your regional variant is. This has been a lot of fun. I'm learning a whole lot. Definitely could probably shave like half an hour off of the time already just from everything that we've learned. This was, it was very enjoyable, and Tychus ruining everything at the end, as he should. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!